Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Welcome back to a brandy new episode of Will It Deploy. In this episode, we're going to take a look at deploying a Go Web API that's already Dockerized to Azure App Services. Now, in this episode, we're going to use an existing Docker image that contains a Go Web API. We're going to create an Azure Web App and an Azure Web App plan with Octopus. We're going to embed that Docker image into the web app, and we're going to deploy it and create everything using Octopus. Now, there are a few prerequisites. The first, of course, is an Azure account because we are deploying to an Azure app plan or an Azure web app. You're going to need at least an ACR or Docker Hub. You can just, you know, put your Docker image in any of the Docker registries that you want to use. And that Docker image also must be pushed to the Docker registry that you decide to use. And with that, let's jump right into the demo and get started. First thing that we're going to do here at the Azure portal is go to container registries. And as you can see, I do have my Go Web API container registry. If I scroll down here, I'm going to go to repositories. And here is my Docker image with my Go Web API built and ready to be deployed. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to my projects. And what I'm going to do is under my will it deploy project group, I'm going to add a new project and I'm going to name this Docker Go API. It'll be under the default lifecycle and under the will it deploy Docker project group. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to save that. Before I even start adding in my steps in my process, I'm going to add in some variables. Now, these variables are going to be a few different things. The first is going to be the app service name, aka what web app I'm deploying to and what web app I'm creating, the app service plan name, the registry path, and the registry path is going to be the ACR path, and then the registry password, which is the password to get to the registry and authenticate, and then you have the registry URL registry username, and then of course, the resource group name that your web API will exist in. Now, in terms of the registry password, if you don't already have this, what you can do is you can actually go and open up a terminal and type in the following command to get that password back for the registry URL. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in these variables here real quick. And now we have all of the variables added in. So now that these variables currently exist, we're able to start creating our steps. I'm gonna to go to my process here and I'm gonna add a new step. And then once I add a new step, I'm gonna to go to Azure and we're gonna see a step template here for running an Azure script. So I'm gonna click add here. And the first thing is gonna to be to create that new Azure app service plan. So I'm gonna say create an Azure web app plan scroll down here and we're going to use the azure tools that are bundled with octopus aka we'll be able to use the azure Quai. i'm going to select an azure account here for me to use and then i'm going to use inline source code and what i'm going to be doing for that source code is creating that azure app service plan so if i go ahead and i scroll over i'm going to use az app service plan create i'm going to pass in my resource group name my app service plan name now notice these are the variables that we created I'm going to ensure that the web app plan is Linux. The number of workers that I'm going to use is two. And then I'm going to use an S1 SKU. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this. Right. And then we're going to create a new step. And that new step is going to be to create the actual Azure app itself and to deploy that Docker image to the Azure app. So I'm going to click add step here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to use Azure and then we're going to do run an Azure script. I'm going to say create an Azure web app. I'm going to scroll down here. Same thing, use the default worker pool. Same thing for the Azure tools. We're going to use the tools that are bundled with Octopus. I'm going to select my Azure account here. And then I have my inline source code. My inline source code is going to be a little bit different. Now, the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating the Azure web app. So we're going to have AZ web app create. We're going to pass in our resource group name, our app service plan name, our app service name, the deployment container image, and that's going to be for that Docker registry. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to configure that container. So we're going to use AZ Web App Config Container, set the app service name, the resource group where the app service exists, 
the Docker registry URL, and then the registry username and registry password. Now, the one thing that I do want to point out here is the name is Docker registry server URL. Now, not to get this confused with like Docker Hub, for example, it could be any Docker registry URL. It could be Docker Hub, it could be ACR. That's just the name of the parameter. So you're essentially just passing in where your container or where your Docker image exists. And then finally, what we're gonna to wanna to do is, we're gonna to wanna to restart that web app just so it pulls in those new changes. So we're gonna do AZ web app restart, the app service name, and then the resource group where it exists. And with that, let's go ahead and save. And now what we can do is we can create our new release. So I'm gonna to go to create release version 001, since this is a brand new project and a brand new release, I'm gonna be deploying it to my dev life cycle. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to click deploy. And now in just a few moments, we'll be able to see that that web app and the Docker image is deployed successfully. We can now see that that deployment was successful. I'm going to go to my app services in Azure and here's my web app. I'm going to go to my Go Web API 92. I'm going to copy the URL, open up a new browser, and then for example, go to the About Me page. And as we can see, it does say a little bit about Mike Levan, and that's how you can deploy a GoWeb API that's embedded in a Docker image with Octopus Deploy. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.